Okay, I got Daddy's phone. I want Daddy to play another Taylor Swift song. I love her so much. La 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 Give it. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hollywood Producers React. I'm Scott. And I'm Sam. And welcome back to well, lovely, lovely, lovely Los Southern Angeles. Southern California, Los Angeles, <laughs> where it is raining cats and dogs. Yeah, if you're listening real hard, you can hear the dogs and the cats <laughs> making noise. <laughs> you're doing it to me again. You're making me put sound effects in that I don't want to do. Sorry. Um, so we want to start this, this one out by saying, well, first of all, we are going to do another Taylor Swift today. Yes. It's a song called This Is Me Trying. It's the Long Pond Sessions. This is the one that the people have been telling us to do. Her, oh, yeah. Her got fans have been saying it. Yeah. So this is the one to try uh, next because it's kind of like a different feel from the other two we've done. So we've never heard it. It was also recommended that we do the interview portion of it because right, right, it right, talks right. about yeah. what the song is about. Um, so we're going to do that. But before we get into it, uh, we just want to thank you guys again for all the comments, all the wonderful information that you guys give us. We're learning a lot. We're doing our best trying to answer your... Try. your yeah, it's kind of overwhelming, frankly. <laughs> it is overwhelming. We're shocked and happy, and, and thank you. Yeah, overwhelming in a good way. Right, um, right, right. But if we don't get back to your comment, it's just because either we missed it or we just haven't had time to get there yet. I but know. Um, it's kind of a miracle. <laughs> it is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are excited to do another Taylor Swift song. Absolutely. Should we just get into it? Why don't we? Let's just get into Enough it. Enough about us. Let's talk about you. <laughs> All right, let's just push play. Here, here we go. I'd been thinking about addiction and I'd been thinking about people who, if they're either suffering through mental illness or they're suffering through addiction or they have an everyday struggle. No one pats them on the back every day, but every day they are actively fighting something. Mm. But there are so many days that nobody gives them credit for that. Yeah. And so how often must somebody who's in that sort of internal struggle must want to say to everyone in the room, you have no idea how close I am to going back to a dark place or you yeah. have no idea. You have no idea how hard it is to get to the point where you guys think is still shitty. Yes. Like, I think about that a lot. Like, the idea of, the idea of doing your best or trying is one that only a person knows. And yeah. you know when you're doing it. And it's so hard, uh, which is what I get from that song, when you're doing your damn best and it's not good enough. Yep. And it rarely is. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, you know, because, and then you, it's a very isolating feeling, which I think is, funny because it actually is the thing that binds all of us is we're all like doing our best and feeling like it's not even close to good enough. Yeah, I had this idea that the first verse would be about someone who is in a sort of a life crisis and has just been trying and failing and trying and failing in their relationship, has been, you know, messing things up with people they love, has been letting everyone down and kind of has driven to this overlook, this cliff and is just in the car going, I could like, I could do whatever I want in this moment and it could affect everything forever. But this person backs up and drives home and- Yeah, I love that. The idea of that not driving off the cliff is an act of trying. Yeah. Which is almost the ultimate act of trying. Yeah. And then the second verse is about, um, you know, someone who felt like they had a lot of potential in their life. I think, I think there are a lot of mechanisms for us in our school days in high school or college to excel and to be patted on the back for something. And then I think a lot of people get out of school and there are less, there are less abilities for them to get gold stars. Yeah. And then you have to make all these decisions and you have to pave your own way and there's no set class course you can take. And there's, and, and I think a lot of people feel really swept up in that. And so I was thinking about this person who is really lost in life and then starts drinking and, Every second is trying not to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely get where she's, I definitely get where she's 
coming from. I haven't heard, we haven't heard the song yet, clearly. But, no, but um, the topic uh, is close to me because I've had relatives with issues with yeah. uh, addiction and, you know, it's really hard. It's, it's hard to help them too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've lost some family that way. But, um, you well, know, you've got to keep trying. Keep yeah, trying. absolutely. I, I'm assuming she's had someone close to her who's been through this, or she's had fans reach out to her, probably saying, yeah, yeah. like, how you've helped me through my darkest time. I'm sure that that's happened with her. It's, uh, you know, she's probably draws on a lot of inspiration, fans or personal or whatever right. it may be, but yeah. I imagine this is... Well, her fans would, would know best, so if you guys want oh, to yeah. comment please. about that. Please, please, please. Well, let's listen to the song, and then we can talk more about it after the song. It's a deal. Adjusting. I had the shiniest wheels, now they're rusting I didn't know if you'd care if I came back I have a lot of regrets about that Pulled the car off the road to the lookout Could have followed my fears all the way down And maybe I don't quite know what to say But I'm here in your doorway I just wanted you to know That this is me trying I just wanted you to know that this is me trying Told me all of my cages were mental So I got wasted like all my potential And my words shoot to kill when I'm mad I have a lot of regrets about that I was so ahead of the curve The curve became a sphere Fell behind all my classmates and I ended up here Pouring out my heart to a stranger But I didn't pour the whiskey I just wanted you to know that this is me trying I just wanted you to know That this is me trying Party when I feel like an open wound It's hard to be anywhere these days When all I want is you Your flashback and a film reel On the one screen in my town And I just wanted you to know That this is me trying I just wanted you to know That this is me trying It's pretty emotional. Wow. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing that comes across to me right away watching that is that it there's clearly something deeply emotional about it to her, yeah. whether that's personal or if it's like we had mentioned, whether it's a, a fan or many fans who have reached out to her explaining how much she's helped them with their addictions or whatever their demons may be. Absolutely. She's yeah. definitely bringing that emotion across. I mean, it's just another kind of feather in her cap to be able to come up with a song like this that's just different. Different than what I'm used to hearing her. And again, I've, we've only heard two songs, but, I know. but for me, it's like, you know, you think Taylor Swift, you think pop, pop right? And upbeat music upbeat. all the time. But it's not upbeat all the time. She's pretty deep. As a musician myself, mm -hmm. having uh, written and recorded songs and stuff like that, I have 
a very deep appreciation for her ability to tell a story with the lyrics, which really carries the song, which I am impressed with. I can't speak. No, I agree with you. Actually, that's a good point because the one thing I do like about her is that there is a story. Oh yeah. All of her songs have stories. Yeah. I think I can speak for Sam as well. Both really love this one. Um, I'm not, what would you, I'm not gonna say this in the, You're not the gonna thing, but what, what would you, what would you have given it? Uh, well, if we were scoring, yeah, uh, I would have given this one an 11 and I'll tell oh my you, gosh. I'll tell you why, because it, uh, it addresses concerns that I've had yeah. in my life dealing with my friends and relatives who went down that tunnel yeah. and, uh, some of them never came back and, uh, you know, it's hard, but you got to keep going. That's my two cents. Oh, Get away from me. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we're, uh, we'll, we'll let you guys go, but we'll, uh, we'll be back with another uh, review, another reaction video. Please stay tuned. And before they go, what should they do? Oh, they should comment. Comment. Press the like button. Bing bong. And subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, subscribe. Gotta find another one for that. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.